Hello everybody and a warm welcome to this exciting edition of The Zambian Farmer. My name is Alec Mugala in Mukushi this time because we are here to meet the various farmers on land to show us and demonstrate to us what the tractor can do on the farm. We're looking specifically at a tractor because the tractor happens to be the farmer's best friend. And I, it is my hope that by the time I finish this program, I will be onto this brand new tractor and be able to do some demonstration on it. And we will be able to see what the tractor can do from some of the farmers, but also what Saro Agro Industrial Limited in Mukushi is doing with the tractors and the farmers that are based around this area. This is our program for today. Remember, you can interact with us by simply picking up your cell phone, type the letter ZNFU on your text line, leave a space and send it to 4466. We're looking at the tractor on a farm. Special program. Don't move an inch. farmer, the invention of the tractor was almost as important as the invention of the reaper. In 1831, farm power era was initiated. Mechanisms became a substitute for physical strength. An individual could accomplish more than several men could in a short time. The tractor, however, did not develop as fast as the reaper. 1849, the first farm engine was introduced. 1868, the first engine steam-powered farm tractors were introduced. Built as small road locomotives and operated by one man if weighing less than five tons. They were used for general road haulage and in particular by the timber trade. Gasoline tractors made their debut in the 1890s. After that, Developments by various tractor manufacturers began to evolve into hybrids that have propelled the agricultural industry of modern times. tractor is among the greatest assets on a farm. It is a cog at the hub of a farm. Ngasa Bristol, a small holder farmer of one-time farm operating at the Tazara Corridor in Mukushi, has been growing soya beans, maize, sugar beans, groundnuts and sunflower. The growing farmer is fully aware of the importance of a tractor. He narrates what challenge farming was before a tractor was introduced to his farmland, the turn of events and how productivity has increased as a result of owning a tractor. Fumaro na nashtre tractor, na wamuntu wa sumtuko ya pantanche sana. Na kwa nisho kuli ma ukufuma pama hikta zaya na kuya pama hikta zayari pamo sana. Na nguvu fly chelewe. Inenda kwa nisho kulima mwishite ino onofie na kwa nisho kulima mahikita za engi. Nda kwa nisha eh, kutongola matawa ya ndi mwishu kuhishi ino within two days or three days. Na nguya fure sana ya wetu four three thousand kuna natongola within three or four days. Na hatu wala napa marketi haba nandi tawalati wafike. Ama wafia na alesa nga ero nishila kwa ta tractor. Of course, of course nalikuete ama payers ya ngombea tatu. Limoguti na akulika yonse kwa ya kumabala na lalo lela hawa kunga fwa kwa ya tibeka tema ama pulao ya lia li mbikuti vaisa no mbaba hatu fwaka sana ala ya shi ngombe kumpelo ya mbuso nteka fwaka ngombe shidero ya kumpelo ya bala ukuli marimbi na furuwa resha fefi mabanka so nari kwa ta machalenje za hengi sana ee eh, kubo mfie ngombe ifi ya nifi ya renshu upa na lalo lele mfula yise ama shea za ama pulao limbi na shita pulao ya nyu Ya lafo within two days, bauma kuchimuti, chaova, kuya mushita imbi. 
so inonishita kuti na limo bushikubonse na tractor pando amabala na lishula Gase also shares the number of benefits that arise from the presence of a tractor at the farm Tractor kuti na as a transport inshira imo ya transport kuti transport vintu fyandi efyo nkwete fili fyonse wedo fena fumya mabala nangu ifindi file fuma fye mumishi nangu fetraiza kuma ku town nangu teku transport tractor ila bomba nangu ku chigayo tunabomfya ku chigayo ndabomfya ku sprayer fyani mumabala bomfya bomu sprayer 600 liters na sprayer apo nati eh nsakwira ngishe ba ku sakwira ne mwini kuti na sakwira through spray na bomu sprayer so chindu chisuma sana ukulima ndabomfya disk yoro ndabomfya ripa Despite all the good that mechanizing with the tractor has brought to one time farm there were other elements that brought Bristol backwards problems with drivers he worked with he also advises fellow farmers on procedures that would assist them in tractor acquisition Tumawafia otonsanga kwati ma drivers ndi waingisha driver taba taba chitake ya tractor so apa na bali ochere clutch plate na itwele mku iwamisha tapo na rushire ndalama close to 10000 so pali nonshita ndabomba ne mwine kulima mabala kuta fionse ba fama banandi kwena ndebe bakwe wati ba palame kuli ba zdnfu ba zdnfu kuti baba afurisha okuvalanga inshira imo yo bange kalira bwino Baba baba ba, ba member kuti baba afwa bakwata tractor abengi ni mbona bakwata ma tractor aba umfwire ubusuma obo ba mwene kuri ifwe fwe ba balire po tractor yi na na isangile through ba ZNF yo kuri ba unjimi kupitira uh, muri ba natsef ebanga fire tractor yi some of the challenges Fest by Bristol at one time farm led us to learn more about the tractor and its usefulness at the agricultural knowledge and training center AKTC situated at Golden Valley Agricultural Training at Chisamba. The AKTC is a bilateral cooperation project between the government of the Republic of Germany through the Ministry of Agriculture and Food and the Republic of Zambia through the Ministry of Agriculture. AKTC is a practical training center designed to train farmers and new students in farm mechanization. Martin Luzu Sekanyika, an agricultural specialist, enlightens us on the friendship between a farmer and the tractor and what a focal point this machine is to agriculture. Tractor basically is um, a farmer's friend. It's a farmer's friend in the sense that it makes life easier for the farmer. The work that you were supposed to be done by hand a, a job that would be breaking your back is made much easier by the tractor so basically a tractor is a farmer's friend and the tractor is the focal point of any farming operation because you, without a tractor you cannot really grow beyond your own consumption but with the use of a tractor and with the help of a tractor we are able to grow enough for the uh, uh, self Uh, uh, consumption but also surplus for 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 um, for sale from time in memorial the tractor has always been a heavy tool therefore it requires care in handling does one need to be qualified trained and licensed to handle the tractor at a farm the tractor is can be a very good friend to a, uh, a farmer but at the same time if not handled properly it can be a liability to the farmer and it's not everybody who can just come in and jump on a tractor and start working on it you need to be trained you need to be trained as a tractor driver just like the way you are trained to drive a vehicle is exactly the same process that we go through in order to, to drive a tractor you need to know the controls you need to know the do's and the don'ts and you need to know what is expected of the tractor So there is a process of teaching and that is what we are able to do when somebody comes here we teach them on on on, uh, on the maintenance and the operations and all the controls before they can actually go on the tractor and start using it 
or else it might be very detrimental to their, to their well-being. The tractor, if you look on your license, there is a category there for a tractor. So it's not just everybody who can just go in and uh, drive, just like a motor vehicle. You need to be licensed in order to be a tractor driver. The tractor on a farm is made for several purposes. There are different attachments that can be hooked onto it to facilitate a number of farm activities. Martin lists the various purposes for which the tractor can be used. You need a tractor for land preparation. You need a tractor for planting. You need a tractor for plant protection. You need a tractor for harvesting. So the attachments that go with uh, the tractor, you've got plows, you've got disc harrows, you've got cultivators that go into the category of land preparation. After that, then you've got what we call rollers, and then you've got um, the planters, which also go with the, the tractor. After that, once the crop is in, it will need to be looked after. So we go into the category of crop protection, and that's where the boom sprayers come in, just like the one that is attached to the tractor at the moment. And after that, of course, when the uh, crop is ready, you need to harvest it. And there are some uh, attachments that you just attach the tractor in order to go in the field and harvest your crop. Many smallholder farmers have phobia for tractors, despite the level at which it can push one to. Farmers must strive to grow. Owning and using a tractor is a major step in taking production to the next level. Are there facilities or systems that can help people access facilities such as tractors? My advice to them would be not to get scared from a distance, get closer to it, learn about it through institutions like um, ours and any other which are, are dotted uh, all over the country. Get some uh, education about it in terms of what you can do, what you are not supposed to do. It is actually something once you acquire it, it is something that will make your life far much easier compared to the using of the hole, compared to the using of oxen, compared to... Because the oxen, even if you use them, at the end of the day, you need to feed them, you need to look after them. Whereas with a tractor, it is something, as long as the, the maintenance is done, the service is done, you can be assured of covering quite a lot of hectares within a very short period of time, which would not be the case if you're using human labor or you're using ox drawn uh, um, implements or farming. I must encourage all the farmers to be a part of a certain union. Like here in Zambia, we've got the Zambia, we've got this Zambia National Farmers Union. Once you've joined a group like that or cooperatives, your voice will become bigger. And whatever your requirements in that, when you are in a group or in a union, you, you, your issues will be addressed um, in a group like that. And there will be a lot of um, avenues to go, which they would suggest, for example, if you cannot manage on your own, even in a group, you can acquire a tractor, you have 10 small farmers, and that tractor can, can actually facilitate and render service to all of you at the same time. And eventually, each one of you, depending on how you handle it, you will end up having a tractor of your own. Secondly, the policymakers, of course, are encouraging all of us to, to sort of... Um, be uh, business minded because farming is no longer uh, something that you do after you retire or something like that. Farming is a business you can still go straight from school and join farming because it's a business like any, any other. I've seen people that have moved from small scale into mechanization and I've seen the benefits. You need to know what to do with the implements, you need to know what to do with the tractor, the moment you do that, you'll find that at the end of the day, you're going to make a profit. Moving back to Mukushi, we see a practical demonstration with the tractor. Here we meet Benson Banda, the sales and service engineer at Saro Agro Industrial Limited in Mukushi, among the biggest agricultural companies in equipment supply to small and large scale farmers. Banda re-emphasizes the importance of the tractor on the farm, what it can do, and takes us through a brief demonstration, starting with the reaper, now that conservation farming must be the in thing, especially for smallholder farmers. A tractor is very, very important on the farm because uh, it can be used to do many jobs that a farmer needs to, to achieve 
in the shortest period of time and also efficiently. Uh, it can be used to plow, it can be used to, to plant, and then uh, there are also other equipment like the sprayer that we will see. It has got what is called the PTO, uh, where power can be tapped, which is a rotary motion, which can be uh, used to, uh, on equipment like sprayers, spreaders, and also it can be used to, for haulage, like to tow trailers, uh, water bowsers, and other things that can be used also. Uh, a reaper here, it's a reaper that has been manufactured specifically for conservation farming. As you can see here, it is hitched to a, to a tractor. Yeah. The tra this tractor here is one of the, the brands that we supply at Saro. So this reaper here is designed to be towed by uh, a 75 horsepower tractor, like we have seen here. Yeah. So the beauty with uh, this reaper is that uh, the, the farmer will just rip and uh, come and plant exactly where they've ripped. They don't have to plow the whole field, so there's minimum disturbance of the soil. The farmer sets the reaper according to the spacing that he wants to plant. As you can see, this reaper has been set to, to do lines at 90 centimeters. So in the, in the same lines that we've ripped, that's where the planter passes by and then he does the planting. And then a uh, couple to eat here is a, a boom sprayer. Uh, the boom sprayer is used uh, to spray either uh, insecticide or herbicide. Uh, in conservation farming, uh, it's a system whereby there's minimum di disturbance of the soil, the weed are uh, eliminated using uh, several weed killers or herbicides. So this is one of the equipment that is used to eliminate the weeds. Because normally uh, the farmer doesn't do uh, plowing, so there is weed in the field which has to be eliminated. The tank of uh, the sprayer is uh, 600 liters and uh, it's got um, a chemical pump here that is used uh, to pump the chemical. Uh, it can uh, pump about 75 liters per minute so it will give the farmer a wide range of uh, spraying pressures which he, he can achieve according to the application rate that he wants. And then also the, the boom length is uh, 12 meters and then on, on the booms we have fitted uh, nozzles uh, on this sprayer, we've got what we call a bijet nozzle, which is double. Uh, the, the other one, okay, here, uh, fitted here, we, uh, we have a bijet system of nozzles. Uh, we've got uh, the holocon type here, and then uh, we've got uh, the flat fan here. The flat fan is used for herbicides. And then uh, the holocon is used for insecticides. So we can see a demonstration now of the how the sprayer works. Tractor models of various horsepower and strength have been developed over time. Benson Banda also tells us about some of the models that farmers can access and briefly demonstrate 
how the planter can be used with the tractor. This is one of the tractors that we supply here at Saro. It's a Landini story series. Uh, it's a very good brand. It's doing very well on the market. Farmers who have bought it, uh, they really appreciate it. Uh, it can be used for uh, several operations. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a four-wheel drive, so you've got a uh, very good traction on it. Here we've got um, a tractor. Uh, the brand name is the Tafe. It's uh, one of the tractors that we supply at Saro. Uh, so far, it's the tractor that we've supplied a lot, especially to small-scale farmers and uh, emergent farmers. Yeah, it's, a, it's a brand that is uh, very good on the market and also is relatively uh, cheap. Here we've got uh, a row crop planter. Uh, it's one of the uh, planters that uh, we supply here at Asaro. Uh, the brand is uh, the Bowden brand, which is very reliable. It's manufactured uh, in Brazil. We've supplied this brand for a very long time, Asaro. So here we are looking at a planter, which is a single row. Uh, these planters, we do have them from single row up to six rows. So this row crop planter can be used to plant maize, soya, and sorghum. Yeah, that also depends with uh, the seed plate that you are using. So depending on the crop that you are planting, you will change the seed plate. This, we call it a row unit. So this planter, it has uh, a facility of adding more raw units. So you can add another raw unit. So in this case, uh, if we have, for example, if we want to have two raw units, we'll mount another raw unit here and another raw unit here. With all this and more about the wonders of a machine called the tractor, giving smallholder farmers the opportunity to own and access tractors would catalyze the possibilities in growing profitable self-sufficiency in food production. That would in turn create a positive contribution to national GDP. When you get to agriculture, it is something, it is a field that is ongoing, it will never finish. So when we become completely mechanized, one, we are going to be very self-sufficient ourselves. Secondly, we will be able to make profit because we will be able to sell. And not only that, we'll be able to export. And once we export, we'll be able to get the much needed foreign exchange. And that will bring a lot of development to our country. Well, and that brings us to the end of this program. It is my hope that you've learned something. And also, we'll remember to make the tractor your best friend. Remember also that at ZNFU, there are a number of um, facilities that you can engage in, such as the Wunjimi Asset Plus, in order for you to own a tractor like this one. But for us here, we've learned so much from this program, and I hope that you're going to start to want to own one of these tractors. Thank you for joining us. From all of us in the field, our editorial team at Zambia National Farmers Union, my name is Alec Mugala, right in Mukoshi. Thank you for joining us and goodbye. God bless you. <laughs>